I'm uh, John Worrell. I um, was born in Somerset in the Two Valley in, in 1941 and I um, went to the local village school and then eventually I finished up at a boarding school called Brymore which um, emphasised farming. Basically it was for f farmers or horticulturists. I went to work for Coat Cider in Nelsey, who had just started up a, an orchard in team to try and get more apples grown in Somerset. After about a year at Coat Cider, uh, that's when I started actually doing the first lot of grafting. I eventually arrived at Boomers and I spent the next, well, from 1970 to 2005 working for Boomers. Uh, all, all was in Orchard Inn. When I retired in 2005, I started a nursery myself growing apple trees and pear trees. And now I'm just doing what I want to do, just looking at orchards here and there. And t I always love talking to farmers. So um, I'm now here for the museum to try and give them some idea what they can do to resurrect these uh, orchards that were in, that were planted in 1936, something like that. The varieties we're looking at here are Medidor, which is a French variety. It, it's a very, very high tannin, late cropping variety, very small apples. And they, when they got a big crop, the branches break out, they're very brittle. We're crafting a few trees um, to see if we can rejuvenate the, the growth and make it more practical. The easiest, simplest way is rind grafts, and, uh, but they want to have a, a, an experience of cleft grafting. To me, all the, nearly all grafting is cleft grafting one way or another. But um, they wanted me to do the old traditional cleft grafting, which I'd never done before. Um, so I made a, a tool up from a bottle opener uh, to uh, cut down the, uh, the, the, br the branch to, get the, to slit the, the grafts in. I'm glad I've done it because I've never done it before, but it's not done any, commercially anywhere because it's just takes too long, too costly. If we cut the trees back, um, would they rejuvenate with young wood to uh, make it practical to uh, graft other varieties on because Medidor is such high tannin and they're so small uh, to pick up. Uh, machines struggle to pick these up. And uh, it could, prolong the life of the orchard. If anybody is considering doing grafting, you've got there's certain things you've got to acknowledge beforehand, uh, otherwise you could finish up with a dead tree. Small trees are very good. There's not much of a problem there. Uh, but when you get to bigger trees, if you cut the tree down too low, um, and have these very big branches um, and put grafts around them. A lot of big old trees get silver leaf if they're grafted too low. You must go up higher and put on probably 50 grafts a tree to, to, to give it to a very tall headwork. As the tree, if you've got another tree which is younger, maybe 20 years, you can come down a bit lower. Never ever um, leave too many branches in to graft because it, it'll you'll have to take them out in the end, and it's better to um, have nice even spaced branches. Very old trees need a sap carrier, so this tree, that branch there, I could graft it, but there's no sap carrier on here and that you've got a, a root system which is big 
and all this sap comes up and it's got to go somewhere otherwise it starts to kill the tree it, it dribbles out of the cuts also that once you cut big trees back you will get a lot of shoots coming up all up the branch and it, you're very tempted to go through when they're young and knock them all off but that's the worst thing to do because you need leaf to help the tree take up the it take the absorbs the sap and to get it the tree working functioning properly what you can do is um, this would be in July end of July time you'd probably have shoots a foot long on the on the on the branches you can thin them out but you must leave some and then uh, as the tree the grafts get bigger and bigger over the, over the next two years three years you can take them all out uh, but you've got to have some some branches there otherwise you will get a lot of root suckers coming up from the ground because that's where the energy is going to go into the root into the suckers and they're a bit of a nightmare to get rid of um, but other than that you've got to decide uh, what grafts you're going to use and as I mentioned before rind grafts are the easiest without a doubt on small ones uh, you can have a saddle graft which is the graft is one side of the of the branch and then you've got a, a strap from the they can go over the other side and put it into the bark the other side that will heal over very very quickly and it's very satisfying when it happens because they look really good the other way um david marshall who asked me to come and have a look here um, is hell bent on having some cleft grafts well all grafts really are clefts more or less and um uh, but i've cleft grafted these little small ones cleft grafting is um you've got the the branch and you split it and put the grafts around the edges or across the middle and I didn't have a tool so I made a tool to do this and I've sharpened this um, it's a tin opener and uh, or a bottle opener not a tin opener sorry a bottle opener and I've sharpened the side there and so what I do is I put it over the 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 the, the branch you're cutting hammer it down and it splits it across and then you maneuver that out the top and put the graft in there and it's only one side of the cambium layers is touching the other is just in the wood but it's a very very old way of doing it it's because it saved uh, you didn't have to tie them in I've tied mine in because I didn't think the bark on this is thick enough to hold it tightly but on old branches bark is quite thick and it will clamp the clamp the uh, graft in and so then you once you get the graft in one side you can put another graft the other side but you much must match the cambrium layers that is what uh, keeps it to, gets it to grow and they the cambrium layer is just under the bark and uh, so you can only get one side of them but if it's only one side it will still grow another thing i do uh, is that if you've got the the branch at the top and the graft is in you cut the graft down and i have it a bit longer to have a little bit of green above cut above the, the top of the the branch you know where you've cut it off because that will callus over and it'll callus over the, the the gap much quicker but not i don't see that done very often and uh, there's been quite a lot of grafting in hereford for changing varieties um, uh, that, that, that haven't performed too well and yes it's younger trees which is quite good um, but they 
don't leave that but you've got to then seal all the if I sealed this as well with a a water-based bitumen paint if you're on a big tree a very big tree and you've got a branch that sort of size you can put three or four grafts in and it's always quite handy to put two in if you got two in and one dies it doesn't you know you, you haven't wasted your time um, it, they shouldn't you you should get at least a 95 percent take in in grafting um, probably more but it all depends on sealing water you don't have water you don't have air in there you don't want anything like that and the, the quality of the graft wood is very very important and when you do graft you'll go out there and after a week and think oh they're not growing after a fortnight you might say oh they're not growing but once you get to after about four weeks they suddenly really shoot away and obviously it depends on how uh, healthy the tree is and now uh, but it they can grow they can grow two or three foot easily in in a season When I was in Somerset, there was no standard orchard down at Kingston Seymour and they were hollow trees and all the tops, they were, uh, oh God no, they were way, way over a hundred years old, standard trees. And the tops are broken off and the new shoots have come up and the farmer got me to graft these and they were totally hollow, the trunks, along lots of them. And do you know that that orchard was totally rejuvenated and it's still there now and I grafted those somewhere about 1962. And uh, the, the ones I grafted are still cropping now. <laughs> 